kids are all right. to get going, but it's been really Keep nice to talk to you. Keep blocking the PK's authority and you'll be whipped. Let me make you think. You've done it again, Hayden. As I expected you would. What have you brought? H.G. Wells was a master of science fiction. In part because he knew his science. It wasn't humanity that prevailed over the Martians, but germs. Germs, man! Can you believe it? <laughs> so simple, yet so small. Would that our plight were suddenly resolved in that way. Kipling's The Jungle Book has an underlying theme of abandonment, followed by themes of adoption and nurturing. Oh, how so many today feel abandonment. Hopefully, nurturing souls remain. What am I saying? Of course they do. You are one such soul. It's beautiful, Aiden. This collection, it's... <laughs> I know, I know you think me a fool, but I am moved. Thank you for this gift. This gift to me. This gift to the world. There you are, dear Aiden. I've missed you. Likewise, Thalia. Albert seems pleased with today's haul. H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, huh? You know, every day I wonder, are we at war? Well, who, us? Wait, did I say something wrong? Oh, Aiden, that was so cute. No, no, we're good. I was referring to the world around us. Is that in a state of war? Oh, right. The world. Oh, we're at war, all right, believe me. And not just one. A lot. Everyone seems to be at each other's throats for one reason or another. Sounds like you're talking about the infected. Some days, it's hard to tell who's more dangerous. The infected, the regular people. How distressing, Aiden. But quite an insight. Here's what you need. Till next time? Yeah, till next time, Thalia.
Hey, little Alice. I know it's bad manners to mention a woman's age, but sorry, you're really getting up there. You're six months old. <laughs> and I managed to wrangle three days paternity leave away from the station, which these days is a rare gift. Trust me. We went to a park today. Your mom found it extremely funny to splash me with the water from a fountain, repeatedly. <sighs> I have a feeling you'll be just like her. I hope so. Maybe you'll have more patience with idiots than I have. At the park, we met some self-righteous pr... jerks. Who said we shouldn't have brought you outdoors. You could be exposed. Come on, honey. They were just showing their concern. These are scary times for some people. See what I mean, Alice? Mommy is way more a people person than I am. I really do hope you take after her. Your daddy is more the crotchety type. Don't listen to him. Your daddy's a marshmallow. Alice, I'm gonna be honest with you. Hopefully, by the time you get to hear this, this virus thing will be ancient history. But you, baby, you are your mom's and my future. And we love you. And that's all you need to know. So there. Dennis, they're in the streets again. Another protest. Ignore it, honey. My buddies at Riot Control will handle them. I started listening to Free People's Radio first thing in the morning, the days have seemed brighter. Looking sharp, Aiden.
challenge. Don't hurt them. Don't just walk on them as if they can't feel anything. They... Who are you talking about? Who do you think? Plants. The gifts from nature that surround you, of course. You don't even notice them. But if they hadn't found a way, you'd surely have noticed their absence. Found what way? To survive the pollution we forced upon them. You're such an ignoramus, like most people. He'll be going soon. Don't worry. The pollution? Yeah, the chemicals we... people dropped on them. The chemicals we polluted the soil with. That's why nothing grows in the earth? You're not from the city, are you? Yes. The soil is so polluted that nothing can grow in it. And when you think about it, it is impressive how nature always, uh, finds a way. It is. It is impressive indeed. People have tried different things. We lacked food, it caused chaos, starvation brings the worst out in people. But the plants? They're so much better than people. When we were killing each other for the last of the supplies, plants went to seed and just started growing where they could. In a way, nature took back what was taken from her. Why rooftops? The soil on the roofs was purer. Must have been the rain that diluted and washed away the chemicals. It rained more frequently back then, but now, when there's less rain, they're going to have to make tough choices again. What do you mean? See these crops? Corn, cucumbers, wheat. They need more water than they're getting. We're doing our best to irrigate them, but it's not easy when our own supplies are dwindling. So, less water-demanding species are taking over. Tomatoes, beans, squash. But that creates another problem. What's that? They establish deep root systems which can start damaging the structures of buildings. Obviously, that would directly impact our own survival. So, think it's gonna be us or them? I'm pretty sure it's going to be them. to pick it up again. Continually astounded by your tenacity and success. Let's see today's catch. Ah, uh, Lewis Carroll truly captured the surreal feeling of disorientation, of falling into a strange world in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I often feel like I've fallen into another world, but sadly, this one is no Wonderland. Given the nature of H.P. Lovecraft's horrific creations, I suppose we should count ourselves lucky. What would we do if an old god suddenly awoke? Lovecraft excelled at creating a sense of dread, which made his stories all the more horrifying. I can relate to a persistent feeling of dread. Definitely. Thanks to you, this collection is already unparalleled in the city. Sadly, our sources are getting dry, and I have nothing new for you right now. 
But I am confident we will manage to dig up at least some more from the city. Just you watch. Wait for my call, Aiden.
you got quite the result. Talk to you at the next challenge. Thanks for the tip. Always a pleasure. Meet me for a beer at the pumpkin farm on Fitzwilliam Place. Yes, I'm buying. Aiden, my partner in battle. Drink up? Uh, bottle number one. Stop counting. Start downing. Already regret coming. Bullshit. Might not have another chance to drink with the future champion. Who says I want to be the champ? I was talking about me. A yeah, sure, champ. <laughs> Tell me how it went. Honest. I almost broke my fucking back. You're better than that. I saw you in action fighting off those infected like you've been doing it forever. And that's what it feels like. So, here I am. Hey, uh, can I ask a question? The pimp hat, um... Hey, it's a fedora. Passed down through family to me. It's special. My brother gave it to me. Oh, I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Chiro. I know. It's okay. Fuck, I miss him. What about you? Any family? Yeah, sister. I haven't seen her since, um... Everything. So I do know how you feel, Chiro. Like a ghost following you. Everywhere. Know what I mean? Yeah. I'd, I'd rather not talk about her. She from around here? Said I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Sure, champ. My brother was 15 when... He had style. And real fighting skills. But didn't want to fight? That pissed off my father. Then... To absent family. Yeah. To absent family.
here for the tryout. Go into the dark hollow and pick up crystals while the sun shines bright. But dark hollow during the day? You going or not? But do I fight or just sneak in? You leave with the crystals. Use a rifle if you want. Don't care about the rest. But you've got a weapon? I don't got the weapon. It's Astrid's from Carnage Hall, on loan for tryouts. Are you going in or not? Scout's watching. So who's this scout? A true connoisseur. One who handpicks the best of the best for Carnage Hall. Won't settle for less. Meaning me. So it is you. Ah, are you going in or not? But who's Astrid? She made the tryouts to keep out stupid questions. You going in or not? I'm going in.
not at all. See you next time. Yeah. Those tips I gave you, did they help? Thanks for the warning. No problem, but call it common courtesy. Same place? The only place. This time, you buy. You do know Carnage Hall's only got one winner. So if I drop out, you have a better chance. Wait, what do you mean? You would drop out so I could win? Yes, I would. Hey, boss, don't do that for me. You're too good. This is your world, Shiro. Doesn't mean shit to me. Don't know what to say. I do know I'm gonna win, so... My brother didn't talk much. An artist type. I never stopped talking. I just... Uh, I really miss him sometimes, you know? Fuck, man. I'm gonna kill those sons of bitches who took him away from me. But you said your father... Pushed him into the arena. One second I had a big brother, the next he was gone. So burned they just threw his body in with the fucking infected. That was my brother's funeral. So that's why your father doesn't want you to fight? He thinks he was a great fighter. He's a bootlicking coward. Never believed in me. I'll show him what a real champion looks like. I'll show everyone. Then I'll kick his ass. Chiro? Chiro! Some pair of randos keep winning all the challenges now.
hell, eh? Not too bad. You pass three tryouts. Next up is the final qualifier. But first, the venerable jury of Carnage Hall has to approve your advancement. I'll be in touch when there's a decision. Who are you? Ogar. Chiro's dad. Did you forget I told you to stay away? Come to the baptistry, and I'll tell you everything. I'll be waiting.